Hey everybody, this is Grow It, Build It, and I'm going to show you how to get rid of uh, wild onions, wild garlic, or whatever you want to call it, onion grass, uh, without damaging your lawn much, without using chemicals. Um, this is a perennial uh, plant that grows from a bulb, and uh, it grows in early spring, late fall, when the rest of your grass isn't growing, and it gets tall. Uh, it'll be noticeable and unsightly, and it'll even dull your lawnmower blades a bit. But because it'll be sticking out above your uh, regular lawn so much, you might be tempted to pull it. You don't want to do that. This plant is engineered to survive that. Most of the time, it's going to just break off at the, at the sod line, and you'll be left with the bulb deep in the ground yet, and you'll have to deal with that plant later. So here's one that I uh, uh, got all the way out, and you can see the bulbs way down below my pinky. look like little scallions or something. Um, but uh, the sod line is quite a bit above it. It's usually around four to six inches above it. And uh, so you, you have to get all of this. And the reason why chemicals don't work so well is this is not a broadleaf. So broadleaf weed killer doesn't work so well. It'll shed it. Um, if you do try to pull it, this is what normally happens. Unless you have really nice soil, you'll be just kind of holding a handful of stalks, and the bulbs will still be there, and the plant will come back. So the way I get rid of this is I wait until it rains and then the next day I'll try to get out there and I'll take a shovel or a pitchfork and then space it several inches off the plant and put it at a steep angle uh, so that I can uh, get about six inches underneath the plant when I stab in there. Um, and then you're basically going to kind of just gently rock it back and you can pull on the stalks while you're doing this as long as you're uh, gentle about it. And it's just until you can kind of roll it back and start um, looking around for w these white stringy roots. There'll be a whole bunch of them in one area, and that's where the cluster of bulbs is. Uh, they're all grouped together pretty well. And then you're going to pick away at that a little bit. Um, if you, you know, make sure you don't drop any bulbs. If you do, just take it out um, because otherwise you'll have another plant. But once you can get most of that cluster inside your uh, fist, all you basically do is hold the sod and pull. And you're basically doing the opposite of pulling a weed uh, in that you're going in the wrong direction, so to speak. You're pulling it through the sod. And this will leave a small hole in your sod pad that you just dug up. But uh, it's pretty much the same as aerating your lawn. Um, but anyways, once you've gotten everything out, you pretty much just have to replace the sod right back where you uh, dug it up. Um, and this works very well. Um, you can... Uh, go after individual plants. Uh, you know, it, your regular weed killer won't work. You're pretty much stuck using Roundup or boiling water or vinegar, which will kill all your grass as well. But, uh, you know, this is the most effective way I've found to do it without leaving a bunch of potholes around your lawn. Um, one other way to do this, uh, it's the way I normally do it, is with a pitchfork. I use a pitchfork because I can line up the plant in between the tines and that way I know I pretty much have no chance of uh, stabbing a bulb or cutting the stalk. Um, but once you do that, the process is basically the same. You're just going to pry it back, rock back and forth gently until you can pull the uh, plant um, through the uh, sod pad. Um, before I forget, if you're finding this information useful or like the video, please click like, subscribe if you want to see more of this, and uh, if you like other kind of uh, stuff like this, go over to growitbuilder.com. We've got a lot of interesting articles over there. But um, again, the key is to get the bulb completely, the stalk completely out of there. And then, uh, you know, dispose of it where it's not going to grow back anywhere else. Uh, not even in your neighbor's yard because they might go to seed and then you're going to wind up with more of these. Um, so that's about it, really. Uh, once you've done this, uh, you shouldn't have a plant come back or if you do, it'll be much reduced. But uh, I hope you've enjoyed it. Thank you very much.